Hi, I'm Chris Serino with Sky Industries. I'm out at the Pendleton Range and I want to talk with you about the modern high thumbs forward grip. Grip is personal to everyone and just because I can do it doesn't mean you can do it the same. Grip is not so much a look as it is a feeling. There are certain pressures on the gun that I feel with my hands that make grip what it needs to be. First and foremost, I want to be high to the axis of recoil on any gun, whether it's a revolver or a semi-automatic, I want to be high to where that, that recoil is going to be strongest. And on a semi-automatic pistol, that's where the slide moves. This all starts from when I pick up a gun, whether it's from this table or from a holster. So since I'm picking it up from a table, I'm going to show you. I plant my trigger finger along the frame in the slide of the gun. That helps me to start putting pressure on it so that I can actually grip the gun. So when the gun comes up into my hand, you can see I'm already high in that back strap, the tang area of the gun. It's not enough to just be touching it. It has to be high. I like to see a little skin bunch up under there. I'm high to the recoil. My thumb's out of the way. I've got good pressure from front to rear. If I need to get to the trigger, I can move to it. I want this trigger finger to stay away from the trigger and the trigger guard when I'm not shooting. So what about my support hand? My support hand's going to come in. I'm going to tell you right now that my grip pressure is just pulling the gun into my hand. I don't need this thumb to shoot. I need it to be out of the way so I can fit my support hand in. Now as my support hand fits in, I'm locking into these knuckles and I'm wrapping the gun up. So this grip on this hand is actually squeezing. It's locking into these knuckles and I'm closing the gun in into a 360 degree pressured grip. The other thing you'll notice is my thumb isn't tight here. My thumb is laid out here. I don't need this thumb to manage the gun. And if it's tight against the gun side, it's going to malfunction the slide lock lever and then your gun won't lock open on the last round. So I grip the pistol, I lay this thumb off to the side, and then from there, I can begin shooting and working. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I shoot. You're going to see that there's not a lot of muzzle rise. And I don't need to be really strong to do this because I'm applying proper mechanics. The gun rises and falls. It flips back into position. So when I train other people that aren't as strong as me or have hands as large as mine, how do they shoot well? Well, it happens all the time because it's about how I hold the gun. When I'm on that gun with my strong hand, I'm tight to this trigger guard. I'm high in the back strap. And when this hand wraps in, even if I'm not strong, and I'll back off about 50%, you're only going to see more muzzle rise, but the gun is going to function and work the way it should. And you can see how that gun flips just a little bit more. So if you can lock it in and find that feeling for you, you're going to start shooting better automatically. So next time you're down at the range, try the modern high thumbs forward grip. I'm Chris Serino, and you can take that to the range.